Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. And gents, Ace Money here, Sportsbook Robbery. It's Tuesday, July 9th. We got one WNBA game on the slate. Uh, links at Los Angeles Sparks. Lines opened up at minus seven. Links is the favorites. Uh, went down a little bit. You can find it at minus three and a half. That'd be the best. It's at minus four, minus three and a half. Uh, Bet MGM got it. Over under 157 and a half. Stayed the same. 158, 158 and a half. Uh, then links, like I said, the favorite minus 320. And that did go down to 188, uh, 185, the best you could find it. And Sparks plus 245, and that's plus 164 is the best you could find that now. Uh, a little bit of line movement, probably because the Sparks have been playing a little better. Link's playing a little bit worse. So the starting line uh, changed. Um, LA plays better at home. Uh, you know, they kind of still have a little chance to get into the playoffs. Maybe that's what's driving them to pick up their game right now. Yeah. You know, they're like out, kind of out of it right now, but they're right there within like a game or two. So let's see what happens. I got a couple player props. Get into that. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Half. I'm pretty positive this line got bumped up from what it, what it normally is. I think it was at 10 and a half, maybe 11 and a half. Uh, Los Angeles, 10th in points allowed. So it's bottom of the pack. It's only 12 teams. Um, stats for this line. It, don't look great, obviously. 23% hit rate is pretty bad, right? Now that I'm looking at it. Uh, this last week, her minutes have ticked up. But like I said, it was at like 10 and a half, 11. So I would have added a couple more. Uh, her play has definitely picked up. It also could be why the line moved. It's definitely playing better. Um, let's see what she did head to head. Played twice this year. First time, she only played a couple minutes, 20. She went under this line. Second game, uh, 14th of May. Uh, I mean, June, sorry. She went over this line. The reason why, another reason why I picked it was because I've been watching these games, uh, all WNBA games, as many as I can, and... She's been playing pretty well, uh, distributing the ball, just being able to drive. But uh, this new little site I found, Props Madness, that I've been showing you, shows the player, uh, basically their shot chart, and then it shows the player's defensive shot, like how they defend against it. And uh, by position, there's a 13% difference. Uh, hit rate is 60%, meaning all players that play like her in her position, there's a, there's a good hit rate for this. So it's, it's basically uh, showing good signs, but also on her shot selection, she's got 10% under the hoop, eight, uh, six inside the foul line, and then 63 in that midi, and 21 behind the arc behind the arc and uh, they're lagging in their defense in all those positions. So this is why I also like that it makes it better than uh, like everywhere she scores. Usually like dark green would be the best, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna rock with it. I'm gonna give her a shot. She killed this number last, the last game too, 17 points. We played it then, too. So I'm going to give her a shot. Let's, hopefully she keeps it up and we, we can get her on a streak. Courtney Williams points over 12 and a half.
line shot. All right, second up, second up, second up. Bridget Carlton, three-pointers over two and a half. Los Angeles is 10th uh, in three points allowed, just like they're scoring in the bottom of the pack. Uh, plus 102, FanDuel. BetMGM minus 115. That's why I always say you need multiple books because the lines are always different. You want to find the best ones. Doing yourself a disservice if you don't. Uh, she shoots mostly threes. She does, uh, you know, shoot a couple middies and maybe some layups too. But uh, I like her threes. Cashed it last game. Playing a decent amount of minutes. Um, she does shoot better at home than away. Like a lot of people. And they are playing away. But, um... She really shoots good. Like, it's crazy. Her threes. She puts in the work. She's shooting good. But another reason why I really liked it is because, see, here's her shot selection. Um, we'll just look at the three. I mean, you can look at it all, but look at the threes because that's what we're playing. 6% on the on the sideline over here, 12% over here, and 64% up here behind the arc. You know, her defense... It's got an eight in this side, a nine in that side, and an eight back here. So if they're falling, which they should be, she should be able to go over this. Um, if you want, you could play her points line. You got it at 10 and a half, I believe. Might be a little bit of a safer bet. 11 and a half. She's had 13 and 12 the last game. The reason why I chose the threes, a little bit better odds. That really doesn't have anything to do with it. But uh, she puts up a good amount of threes. Eight attempts last game, six attempts the game before. And she put up nine total shots and 10 total shots. So she got two regular shots. Does hit a couple foul shots. If she gets fouled, she shoots all right, 90%. She's shooting 55% behind the arc, 53 from the line, uh, from field goals. So I feel like either or she's going to go over them both. It's just that at three points, you got a little better odds, so I chose that. All right, Bridget Carlton, let's, let's do it again. Uh, I played her threes over two and a half. You could play her points. It might be the easier route. I don't know. Use your dis your discretion. All right. I'd like to take this time ask you if you could like the video. Uh, new viewers, please subscribe. Uh, turn the notifications on. Uh, you know, sports betting is like a roller coaster. It's up and down, up and down. And sometimes it's down. Sometimes it's up. Right now it's up, but it was down. <laughs> And, you know, when it's down, you can only go up, right? But, uh, yeah, the likes uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there. Uh, the subscription and turning on the notifications helps you get my plays, my live bets. I drop stuff to the community. Like, for instance, I dropped a little five legs in game parlay. Told you how to do it, where to put it in to add the 30% boost. Not a big parlay guy, but uh, they were highly juiced plays that I decided to mess around with and cashed. I mean, I personally only bet $22. It paid out like one one thirty, I think. Uh, dropped a couple other plays. But basically, you get my plays. You get uh, any info that I'm putting out. I try to be as transparent as possible and uh, just get what I do this way. You know, this Everything's clear cut. So you could uh, try to help you make money or lose less, whatever the case may be. But uh, let's keep it moving. Rakia Jackson, been killing it, raking it in. Uh, points over 11 and a half, minus 130. Both books that I use. Uh, 
Last four games, 14, 12, 14, and she killed it last game. Had 22 in Phoenix. Uh, she's playing real good. Head to head, two times they played this year. Well, one of them, she only played a couple minutes. She didn't go over this line. The second one, she played her normal minutes that she's been playing recently. She destroyed it. She actually had a double-double. She had 10 rebounds, too. They got her rebounds line at five and a half. I was liking it, but especially because uh, Minnesota's like 10th in rebounds allowed, so they allow a lot of rebounds. But uh, I decided the safest bet was to go with the points over 11 and a half. The last... Uh, Last five games, she's killed this. Average of 14 points. 80% hit rate, head-to-head -head 50. For the year, it's only 50%, but her minutes for half the year weren't on. Uh, she was playing half the minutes she's playing now. You look at her shot chart. Little 43% under the basket, 21%. Beneath the foul line in the paint, 8% middies, 25% behind the arc. So they do defend the three well. But other than that, they're in the middle of the pack, mediocre. Uh, people that play like her, that's supposedly what this is supposed to mean. And I mean, obviously one of them is her. She went over this. The other one was T. Hayes and the Aces. They went over it. But, uh, yeah, she's been balling out. I'm going I'm, I'm to ride with her until she misses. Or until they move that line to her. Let's get it. Like, subscribe, comment. All right, next up, I got Ari McDonald points over 11 and a half. All right. We got a plus 105 on BetMGM. I played it on FanDuel like a fool. It's a little 10, 10 point difference right there. Uh, so if you got BetMGM, load it up and use it. Uh, 8 out of 10 hit rate for the last 10 games. I've been clearing it pretty easily. Uh, besides this last game on the 7th, whereas Phoenix, she, uh, she had a bad game. Real bad shots, uh, and then Coach pulled her. She only played 24 minutes. Shot one for 10. So, uh, yeah, so the coach pulled her. Smart coach. Some coaches just leave them in there like fools. Uh, she should bounce back. She had a bad game over here versus the Liberty and then bounce back. Uh some type of veteran, so she should be okay. Shooting 42% from the field, 35 from threes, 85% free throw shooter. Uh, it's going against Minnesota, obviously. It's a tough team, but the ball it should be all right. Head to head, she's cleared this one time. The last time on the... The 14th of June. Uh, the beginning of June, she only played 18 minutes. I don't know if that was due to shot selection and the coach benching her. Yeah, once again, she had one for 10. It was a off game. And coach pulled her. Small coach. It's pretty cool. Uh, shot selection. Shot, 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 shot. Let's see what we got. 29% under the basket, 19 in the paint, 2% midi. Fitty behind the arc. Uh oh. 5 5 5. And they defend well for the three. So hopefully she can get them five points and hit it. You know, I'm sure she hit one. Th oh, seven in the corner over here. What's she shooting over there? She don't shoot from over there. All right, so that don't help us. But, uh, 
Yeah. I'm going with it. All right, McDonald. I already placed it. I have to rock with it now. I got faith in her. Seen the way she played. I like the way she played. I'm going to continue to rock with her. Not continue, but I'm going to play it today. That's a bounce back day. We like to bounce back like basketball. Let's get it. All right, last up. I'm going back to Hamby. Uh, this time I'm playing points and rebounds. Minus 118, FanDuel. DraftKings don't have combos for WNBA. Uh, rebounds allowed. Minnesota's ranked 12th. Points, they are ranked second. They defend pretty well, but uh, 60% hit rate of the last five games. Really stepped the game up, especially since getting put in the All-Star game. Uh, like I said earlier, they're right on the, the edge to be a game or two back from being in the playoffs. So if they go on a, on a roll here, they're gonna, they'll are gonna they make it. Still got an opportunity. She's playing plenty of minutes. Uh, she's averaging almost 10 rebounds a game. Uh, point line's at like 18 and a half. I liked it better with the rebounds just because Minnesota's – the worst team in rebounds. Um, her double double, meaning ten rebounds, ten points over that is uh, is like minus two twenty. So the books got her at hitting that. So reason why I added them together. Uh, head to head, she has gone under this it's two months ago. They played. They only played two games this year. She had twenty-seven and twenty-eight. Uh, Sixteen points, seventeen points, eleven rebounds, eleven rebounds. Uh, she's been playing real well. I feel like she's gonna go over it. That's why I played it. Uh, I'm telling you, she really turned it up these last couple games too. She's been trying. She's got a good rhythm going. She's taking on everybody. Uh, shot selection. She don't shoot that many threes. Last game she didn't. She was hitting them, so she kept shooting them. Uh, so inside from the from the three point line inside, she is she's a pick and roll person. Sixty three percent of her shots underneath the basket. Sixteen in the paint. She don't really shoot a midi, and she shoots a couple threes. If they're falling, she'll take them. Uh, but otherwise, she does damage in the paint. Uh, plays in her position, a little bit off. Uh, the ones that – point differential is minus 3%, but the ones that missed, missed by a little bit. I'm going with her. Uh, she's just on a rhythm. She's been playing real well. I'm going to give her a shot. And with those rebounds, I feel like she's probably going to have like 12 boards. So the rebounds, if her points are lacking a little bit, it'll help her go over it. I think she should be fine. Derek Hamby, points and rebounds. Uh, been a good couple of days. Uh, if you could, like I said, like that video. Uh, new viewers, please subscribe. Subscribe, it's free. What you got to do is hit that button. Uh, if you could leave a comment, feedback, uh, anything. Comments and likes help get the videos out there. Let's have another good day. Let's keep it moving. Ace Money, the name, getting paper the game. Let's go.